Beautiful people, great dear friends, wherever you're listening to us from, this very evening from here, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night to some of you, because this is the most listened to radio broadcast coming out of Africa. It is received in every time zone across the face of this very earth. This is a live presentation on this very day, the 4th of April, in the year of our Most High Elohim, Chukokikabi Amapurimi 2020. It may have been April Fool's Day, but we are not fooling around here. Everything we tell you is the truth. Every allegation that we tender is verifiable. Every word that we utter, any statement that we make is provable. That is why our enemies go crazy anytime we are live on earth. That is why our enemies go insane anytime we are transmitting to the entirety of humanity. Because mankind is listening to Radio Biafra. I welcome each and every one of you. And as I do so, I will also ask you to welcome those who are around you. If you have relatives, you must bring them closer. If you have people who are discerning enough, who are intelligent enough, you must also bring them closer because we are propagating the gospel of heaven. The gospel of redemption, the gospel of hope, the gospel of restoration, the gospel of the amalgamation, the gospel that will lead us into life and not into death, the gospel that will usher in light where once there was inescapable darkness. That is what we represent, the hope of 70 million people scattered all over the world, abandoned by the damnable zoological republic. They steal from us, they extract every mineral resource from Biafra land that sustain the very fraudulent edifice of what somebody called the British supermarket. We are here to bring all of that nonsense to an end. And we state very categorically and unequivocally that Biafra must be restored in our time because this is a project ordained in heaven and executed on this very earth by the children of men. Therefore, I will ask you to tell those around you, especially those in Iguacha, that we are not on our FM tonight. They can listen via my page on Facebook. They can listen via our app. They can also receive us via satellite and whatever other platform that they wish to listen to us on. Not on FM tonight, in Iguacha only. Every other place we are transmitting seamlessly. My name is Enam Dekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra all over the world. And by the very special grace of Chukukika Biama Prumiyanin, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. Before we proceed, as it is our tradition and our custom here, 
we must dedicate, or should I say, hand over our proceedings to the Almighty, Invisible, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, the Creator of everything that you see around you, that which existed before existence came to exist. We must pray, and I'm going to pray a very simple psalm of David. A very simple psalm of David. Because humanity have seen pestilence in the past, COVID-19 will come, and it will pass. We will tell our children and our grandchildren about it. And it will be recorded as a phase in human history when a pestilence came and threatened to wipe out humanity. But this very God that we worship is ever faithful, ever kind, ever loving, and ever forgiving. Therefore, we will, as always, dedicate all that we are unto Elohim and ask Him to have mercy upon our lives. This evening we are going to pray. You can join if your scripture is beside you. We are praying Psalm 23 that we are taught even in our elementary school. They taught us how to pray Psalm 23. This very version of the Bible did not come from Europe. It did not come from Europe, please. Not minding that they attached New Testament to it. I am reading from the ancient book. I am reading from the Torah. From where every other religion on this very earth sprang up from. The same thing that was being preached by our ancestors in Arochukum before the British came. That is what I am reading out to the hearing of humanity this very evening as an offering to heaven. When I go to the Kenya and Kevin and me, go no stand in on the way for time, go away, not like a jail. That is the language of heaven for those who do not understand it. The language of the ancients, the very oldest language on the face of the earth. This evening we shall praise Elohim. We shall worship Him. on a way at him, Urobian, on a duan in Ozon in case you men he has also a banyagi, Nano one in Nagan and the Brugon Yom, and Yagarat will be your job, or Nina Gomari Butina can not get the new to Potica Piama. In on your running, Melagin and Palakagi Gomari, Nakasian Yobi, Ibuputawe Bori, Nihunan and Napabuani. Ita wisi ane manu Ika ane we juputa noge ni he managi Obo nane mamagi ne beregi Gabasi ane upotimine ni mendu ane Ane gebi kwa nalanke ni dendo Ma pisa la nyegi ni woche zegi Eba ane gano We jage mama fegi Site ne bigebi maro ne bigebi Ise 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 those who understand that very language will understand its deep meaning and implication for what we are passing through. If you like, you can recite it in English language. It is a very powerful prayer for in times of difficulties like this, the Lord is our shepherd will always guide us through. By that Lord, I mean the one and only creator. Indivisible God in heaven. Only one God, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Only one. 
That is the God that we pray to here. That is the God that our ancestors worshipped in Arochuku and many other places. That is the God that Israel worships. That is the same God of Abraham. The same God of Joseph. That same God of Moshe. The same God of Jacob. The same God of Eli. From where Umweri and Aguleri, the progenitors of the entire Biafran race, came from. I welcome you. We must proceed very hastily. There is a lot of hunger in our land as a result of the very understandable restrictions imposed in order to combat this very deadly pestilence. Highly contagious, highly infectious coronavirus, or they call it COVID-19. It is a very careful balancing act that we must maintain. We are not here to ask any government for help because we are the chosen children of God in heaven. We represent the light in the very dark and primitive continent of Africa. As I proceed this very evening, those of you listening on Radio Biafra page, the authentic Radio Biafra page, you know that Facebook is in the habit of frustrating or restricting the number of people that can listen via that very platform. Should you be tossed out by Facebook, you can always go to my page or your resort to Radio Biafra app. We are on tuning as well, as well as satellites for those of you that have access to that very digital platform. Hunger is killing our people. And very soon, people are bound to protest. People are bound to rise up. I don't know if anybody saw a footage of that burning helicopter. Uh, I don't know if people have actually acquainted themselves with the very terrible and harrowing pictures of people jumping out of the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center, during the 9-11 terrorist attack. Rather than people stay there and be consumed by the fire, they left some of them from the hundredth floor of that very building to their certain death. They knew they were going to die, but they still jumped out of the building. The same thing happened in this very clip that I saw a few days ago of people jumping out of a flaming helicopter. Rather than be burned in the helicopter, they jumped out. The same thing applies to hunger. Rather than people stay in and die of starvation, they will come out to scavenge for what to eat. That is a human instinct. Or should I even say an animalistic instinct that no one can curtail. Therefore, the rulers of the zoological republic, those that call themselves politicians, those that reside in Asarog, Ruling with deception, those that call themselves governors, your senators, your house of reps, and assembly members and councillors put together. There is a ticking time bomb. Unless something is done to address the ravaging hunger in the land that you people had nearly 60 years to put in place but failed to do so. Ordinary Malaysia that used to come to Biafra land to learn how to propagate, or should I, should I say, to learn how to plant palm trees using palm fruit. They are well prepared. Every other part of the world is well prepared. I am warning everybody this very evening, it could be your morning or your afternoon or your night, depending on where you are, that when the United Nations World Health Organization and the Bill Gates Foundation predict that there will be over 10 million people dead in Africa, perhaps not through entirely coronavirus, but due to the negligence, the duplicitousness, and the wickedness of political leaders. Maybe this very coronavirus will usher in 
a wave of public rebellion in Africa to put us on the same par with the rest of the world. Every part of the world where you have development today, ordinary people rose up in anger to challenge those in authority that made their lives hell. You must understand this very carefully. And also the politicians who are listening because the whole world listens to Radio Biafra. I said the whole world. Everybody, some hide under the, under the rock, under the carpet. They are listening. Some claim and they tell uh, their wives, oh, they are doing uh, a prayer online with one apostle or one evangelist with their headphones and they listen to Radio Biafra. That I can assure you. The whole world is listening and this very evening they are listening in their droves. And we are warning them that hunger is killing people. And I would not wish we Biafra friends to go through the same thing we suffered during the war, which is what the zoo is planning for us. That is why they have not made any provisions for us. That is why there is no testing center where we come from. Of course, we'll do something about that. I'll mention that um, later on as we proceed. We are also aware, I am aware that the initial 50 million we allocated to tackle this very menace is only a very tiny drop in a mighty ocean. So as a nation, I mean the nation of Biafra, forget about your politicians, they will not come to save us. The more of us that die, the better for them. The more they use hunger and intimidation to strike fear in our soul so we can never rise up again to ask questions, the more they will continue to do it the more they will continue to do it. But as a nation, as a people together, looking out for one another, watching out for each other, we are going to come out of this very mess with minimal loss of life because the life of every Biafran is important. Very, very important. As I alluded to in the post that I made earlier today on my page on Facebook, or maybe I think it was yesterday or thereabout. That was yesterday. We, IPOB family across Biafra land, we have begun the very critical task of engaging our doctors, our nurses, and other healthcare professionals, readying them for what is to come. Our prayer is that this COVID-19 coronavirus will not be as devastating or as deadly as it's proved to be in Asia and in Europe. We are hoping and praying. They say that this very virus cannot thrive uh, in temperatures above 28 degrees centigrade. And recently it's been raining a lot and everywhere has been very cold. So I don't know if those that brought this very virus knew the season to bring it. I don't know. I'm only speculating. But now I understand that Jefferland is um, slightly cool than normal. Therefore, therefore, we must do all that we can. This is not the time to get very parochial. This is not the time for selfishness. This is not the time for people who only think about themselves and their families. This is the time where we must all think together as a whole unit, as a collective of people with a common enemy and be able to save as many lives as we can. Our preparation has to be multifaceted as we've been trying to do. And for us to survive this very pandemic, it is no longer an epidemic, it is a pandemic. We must adopt a siege mentality. We must see that our lives are threatened, that our communities are threatened, our livelihoods are threatened, our way of life is threatened, and above all, that our beloved nation, Biafra, is also threatened. Because as I said earlier, we have been abandoned. And what do I mean by that? We must look at each other as an extension of our own very self. No, I know it's very difficult to do. We are Republicans. We are highly individualistic. We are, our orientation in terms of economy is laissez-faire capitalism. There is nothing 
um, um, to be ashamed of in that. We know that we as a people respond more to demand and supply than any other people in Africa. The market is what determines what the price is going to be. We know all of that, but we are living in a very dangerous time. That if we apply the same strategy we use when there is perhaps, say, fuel scarcity or any other scarcity, scarcity of, a, of, a, of a rare commodity, then we will all be doomed. We must change our mindset. We know that other things have gone up as well in terms of market price. We know that dollar has risen against the Naira. We know all of that. But we are in a war with an invisible enemy. On two fronts, actually. One is an invisible enemy and the other one is visible. The reason why they have not extended any testing um, centers to Biafra land is because they want us all to die. The reason why they have not granted or allocated any money towards providing food for the people is because they want us to die. You must understand this. You are dealing with people that want you dead. You must understand it. One is the coronavirus. The other one is the Nigerian state. It doesn't matter if you live in Lagos, you live in Abuja. It doesn't matter. The same thing applies. And I must also remind those that live in Lagos and in Abuja, please stay where you are. Do not go into the Afro land, please. Wherever you are, you must remain there, please. Unless, unless your trip is essential. You must remain where you are, or else you will carry it from there and you will bring it into Biafra land, and we cannot cope. People with advanced healthcare systems, like the USA and Britain and Spain and Italy, they are struggling. Not to talk of um, Biafra land and surrounding nations, that we don't know what a first class hospital looks like. We don't know what a well-equipped ICU unit looks like, where there is no electricity to even power the so-called uh, ventilators or respirators, as they call them. There is no light. And very soon there will be no petrol. So those relying on generators in hospitals to be able to even power ordinary ventilators will be disappointed because people will die. Once you are placed on a ventilator and there is no more electricity, you, that, that's the end of you. We must try as much as possible to slow this infection down. It is our collective responsibility and individual duty to ensure that we do everything humanly possible to slow this very virus down. Because those that we just dead are plentiful. There are many. There are many. We don't know what this very virus has in store for humanity or what those that created it, if what we are being told is actually correct. We don't know what they have in mind for Africa. They've been saying that Africa is over overpopulated for a very long time. You must remember that they gave us HIV AIDS. They even went as far as infecting South African women. The AIDS virus, the, the, the virus, the HIV that causes AIDS, they put them in the tampons of women. They are part of the sanitary towel. That was why you had so much infections in South Africa. They claimed it was um, through, um, 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 should I say, uncontrolled um, 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 sexual um, um, intercourse or transmission via sexual contact. That is a lie. For the simple reason that there was this very actor, I think, uh, he acted in Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe. That is why sometimes it's very good to watch movies. Um, Marilyn Monroe, one of the biggest out of all time. There's this very famous actor in Hollywood. Um, his name is um, Rock Hudson. Some of you may know him. Rock Hudson. Rock is R-O-C-K, like a rock. And Hudson is H, like River Hudson. H-U-D-S-O-N. Remember that name. He died of HIV before anybody knew what HIV was. He was a Hollywood superstar. He was a Hollywood superstar. He died of HIV before anybody had an inkling what HIV was. But they claimed it came from a monkey in Africa. Because of that, they used it to justify the infection 
of Africans at a very alarming rate. But luckily, as uh, with most things in life, the body fought back. And um, the body is actually winning that very battle. Take it about another 26 years. And the body will be able to have enough immune system to resist the HIV AIDS um, 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 virus. But that is in the future, not now. If you get it now, you, you, things will happen to you if you don't get help. But that is no longer a death sentence. What I'm trying to say is that they brought also Ebola. Remember? And before that, God knows, SARS, of many different viruses. Where are these things that are coming from? Nobody knows. But it will keep coming. Because there are those that wish to see the number of Africans on this very earth reduced at a very alarming rate. And that's what they're trying to do. We must not allow them to succeed. All the alarm bells from the UN, from Gates Foundation, from World Health Organization, leads me to believe that something major will happen in Africa. But remember that this same um, coronavirus you have today in China was also predicted by Bill Gates, his foundation. When Bill Gates says that what they are doing is to prepare the mind of the world that 10 million Africans will die. That's what they are trying to do. And when they are thinking of producing the population of Africa, they will go to the place they claim is the most populous country in Africa, and that is the zoo. And when it comes to the zoo, <laughs> you know what's going to happen. So we must be very, very careful. And take extraordinary measures, even those being implemented by the now various tiers of governance across Biafra land and Africa at large. Please, very, very critical that you observe social distancing, that you wash your hands more regularly. That is far more effective than using a gel, using the, what's it called, the, the hand sanitizer rubbish. It's good in some instances if you're traveling, but as soon as you come across water and soap, you must wash your hands as many times as possible during the day. Not the time that Jubilee is doing. In the basement of the hotel in, in Cuba, I'll come to that later, with a gold cap, the wash hand person in a nightclub in the basement of a hotel in Cuba, that they're snapping. And posting all, never video, always pictures. Always pictures, never videos. And people don't ask why. But we'll get to Jubilee later on. For us to function as a nation and emerge from this pandemic, be our friends, must indeed, not just in words, be our brother's keeper. Because there's going to be hunger. And we are going to share what we have. The food that we have, we are going to share it. This is not the time for selfishness. This is not the time to say it is me and my family alone. Because I, if hunger drives anybody to go outside looking for something and they become contaminated, they will bring it back into the community and will be, the entire place will be ravaged. We have no hospitals. Don't forget that. We have none. People are now saying, oh, we have this um, traditional medicine that I told I'm not saying it won't cure it. But they say prevention is better than cure. If a lot of people come down with this, say a million people in Biafra land, even the traditional medicine will also be overwhelmed. And many will die. And we don't want that. We must be very, very careful. All our communities in Biafra land must function as one entity, as one body. We must help each other. Because a lot of people will die if we don't. Don't say, I did not warn you. We must be selfless. We must be concerned about our next door neighbor. We must be concerned about what people are eating. We must be concerned about the welfare of other people. This is not the time for any form of criminality because you can go and become infected yourself. Well, you have got to go and steal. There will be no stealing. There will be no hoarding of any goods or commodities. We must work together as a people to overcome this. All the hiking of prices makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Because this pandemic is worldwide. It makes no sense. To be selling prices way above the market rate, it, it doesn't make any sense. It means you're very evil. It means you're wicked. I respect the fact that demand 
drives supply. That's what it that, that's what it does. So if there is scarcity of commodity, many people will want it, and if they want it, all the only thing that happens is that the prices will go up. But there is no need because we are in a state of war. The the rest of the zoo, they are fighting only one enemy, which is coronavirus. But we in Biafra land, we have two enemies, two. Okay. This coronavirus and the Nigerian um, state. Should I say the Janja with the Fulani run Nigerian government? They want us dead. We are not going to allow them. Now is the time for us to gel together as one people. Demonstrate the same um, um, type of love that we used to have 60 years ago. The same camaraderie, the same togetherness that gave rise to the Igbo unions of this world. The same togetherness that made it possible for Ken Serewa to come to Gomekele Jomwaha for his education. The same togetherness that made Dr. A. Yoeta the head of government in Enugu. A. Yoeta from Efik, the present calabar you have. Dr. A. Yoeta was the head of government in Enugu. After gallivanting in the West and they kicked him out, Namda Sikiwe came and ruined everything by asking Ayoeta to leave, to give him a political power base from which to relaunch his career. Ayoeta went back now to, to Calabar and I was told uh, the ethics that, can you see those are dominating the church to your way? Whereas in the North, they brought a Christian go on. Can you imagine that? The, all the, all the, all the uh, alamajri you have in the North, glorified ones of course. They are all Muslims. They are conquering and killing minorities today. But will you believe that they gave power to a Christian to go on in order to win their hearts over against Biafran people? But then the Azikiwe came to Enugu and decided to send home a Yota. And that is what they have against Igbo people to this very day. That is why oh, that, they, they, they will dominate everything because of that incident. Not minding that um, the same... The same uh, uh, Fulani have sacked um, Omogen. The same Fulani sacked um, who is the um, DSS director that they sacked. Uh, the same uh, the same Fulani they killed Ken uh, The same Fulani killed Adakaburu. They, they don't have anything against, or should I say, our southern brethren don't have anything against the Fulani that killed people. But because Nam Gaziki will act you that to go back, that is why we are in the mess we are in today. We must not repeat that mistake. Never, ever, ever are we going to. We must be one and be seen to be one. Once that person is a Biafran, I expect the entire structure of IPOB to be at the disposal of our people in terms of organizing food and making sure that we identify hunger hotspots. Because right now, some people are writing to their, uh, uh, texting their state coordinators, saying, oh, where is that money? Only you promise us. You, you promise money on air. Where is it? You have it. Give us our money. We cannot afford to have such lousy mentality. That is not how we survive as a people. The money that we have voted, or should I say set aside to fight coronavirus, will go to hospitals, We'll go to the new testing center that we have identified to make sure that they have relevant um, um, diagnostic equipment to be able to tell us if we are corona positive or negative, as the case may be. It will go into feeding people who are in their need. That's what we're going to do. We need to be able to look out for each other. If we do not do it, we will perish. Understand it. Every country, e even as, as ravenously capitalist as U.S. is. They practice, the, I think, the cruelest form of laissez faire economics. They are bonding together, Democrats and Republicans come together to vote in, or to vote through, should I say, um, two trillion um, economic relief package. These are people that would not normally see it eye to eye. These are people that, if you tell Democrats you're going to give 15 billion to Boeing, the aircraft maker, they will, they will, they will rather die. But they had to concede. They allowed it to go through because workers were also benefiting from it. We must act as one unit. This is not the time for envy, for jealousy, for, for pettiness. Now is the time for national survival. You have to put the interest of the survival of Biafra over and above your own petty private interest. If we don't do it. Mark, what is the time now? Because when I say it, I... 
the time now is nearly, I think it's about um, 18 minutes to 8 p.m. in the evening. And today is the 1st of April, and I'm telling you this. If we do not follow this very clear court guideline and directive, our land will be decimated. And we do not want that. The hunger ravaging the land will be looked at, of course, and we are doing something about it, especially our children. We shall also, of course, look at the state-sponsored brutality against innocent civilians who are looking for what their families will eat. That is the cruelest form of banditry I've ever seen by the United States. They have unleashed those they call reform terrorists and bandits on poor, defenseless, innocent people. Gave uniforms to terrorists to molest those. They have asked to sit at home, but what are they going to eat? You, but everywhere else in the world, there are key work as they call them they, those are people that work in these in this markets because there must be food for people to eat do you understand that those that does the food packaging the transportation of the food itself those that work in the in the in the pharmaceutical industry and health workers there are people who are sick in the hospital people who have to go and visit their their their, their sick relatives in the hospital it's not everybody you see you molest and you want to kill. They have now unleashed the, And the funny thing is that they don't do these things in the north. There are Islamic preachers in the north flouting all the rules and doing whatever they like. Nobody touches them. But once it is in the south, be it Yoruba or in Biafra land, they, all hell breaks loose. We can't afford to allow these terrorists in uniform to win. We can't allow that. Because under the guise of enforcing it at home, our towns and our villages are being circled by Fulani extremists and terrorists. That is what is happening in our land that people do not know. That is what is happening. Very, very sad indeed. And as I said earlier, we don't have any testing center in our land. Not in Biafra land. I saw some people writing about uh, uh, Niger Delta people. I mean, Biafra land means everywhere. South, South, and Southeast, Biafra land. They will tell you, oh, but we have one in Edo. Are you saying now that Edo officially is part of Biafra? What we are saying is that they want us dead. That is why they have not provided, and will never. Will never provide, never, ever, ever. Even if they announce it, there will be no testing equipment, there will be no drugs, there will be not enough in anything to take care of our needs and our concerns. In this very critical crime period, we are sponsoring a new testing center in Aba. By um, Sunday, I will be able to announce it, uh, how far we have gone with the proprietors uh, in terms of granting free testing to every Biafran that needs it. Because once you're coughing and the cough is dry, you need to be tested. Once you have persistent headache, you cannot explain, you need to be tested. We are working with these people, and hopefully I will announce it on Sunday, how our discussions have gone. But I do hope and pray that they will agree to our terms and our conditions. We'll have it somewhere in Abba. Chukukikabi, I'm willing. People say, oh, now, uh, with all, somebody actually wrote to me and said, well, with all due respect, sir, Abba carries you about, you'll be the least of our, you see people who don't understand. Who, who who are the people that caused the mess that you're in? Who are the people that made it possible for you to go out to look for something to eat they have not provided for you? And the police and the army are brutalizing and killing people for going to look for something to eat? And you said to talk about the criminals who are responsible? What type of brain do you people have? I keep asking. I will talk about Abakiari. I have talked about our starvation and what we're trying to do to alleviate it. I have talked about our their medical predicament um, in terms of testing and preparedness and what we are trying to do. I, I'm not the one giving money to for the government of Nigeria. There are Biafran sons who have given money to Nigerian government. And that's when Nigerian government came out to announce that there will be nothing in the East. There's nothing for us. And uh, uh, when I say now, they say, oh, he's insulting people. <laughs> but I, I can't understand. Tomorrow, the idiot will come and say, oh, uh, uh, our people will be together. Oh, we'll, we'll be our friends. Let's uh, try and move forward. Even those that I used to have respect for, they gave money to a government they know can never, ever invest a dime in our land. 
They take our oil, they take our gas, they impoverish us. On top of that, after struggling and, and working very hard to build yourself up as a man, you now give money to the same government. And you're telling me that we are normal. Of course we are not. And um, I will be speaking to one or two of them to let them know how we feel. I'm not asking you to give money to IPOB. We're not doing anything with your stupid money. Give that money. Organize people that is Red Cross in Jaffa Land. We have Red Cross. Look for some people. You yourselves, you can organize doctors. You can fund a clinic. You can fund a testing center. We have millionaires all over the place. They claim one millionaire can fund a testing center. We can replicate what IPOB is trying to do in Aba everywhere across Biafra land. You have done something. Not to take one billion and give to people that hate you, people that kill you, people that take your land. Unbelievable. We will talk about Habak here because they are liars. We are exposing them. That is where somebody will answer a, a, a Biafran name. Uh, maybe Ene Okun and say, oh, oh, oh please, sir, stop talking about um, about um, Jibril and uh, and Buhari or Bakhtiari. We know who you are. You are not a Biafran. You ask a Biafran name to give us the impression that somehow you are concerned about Biafran. No, we'll talk about and expose those making our lives a misery because they are liars. They are liars and we'll keep on exposing them. To let the world know that everything we say on Radio Biafra is correct. And there's a new trick they now have, you know. A brand new trick. Once you publish a video, clear video, of the brutality of Nigerian Army and police. Oh, no, it happened in Angola. Okay. They go, you know, Loretta on she go and call the gang and say, oh, go, go, go to Nam the Kano's page and tell them this thing happened in Ghana. Somebody said, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this thing is happening in front of my house uh, uh, in 2018. But it's a lie. It happened in the zoo. These are some of the social media tricks that these criminals play on us that you do not understand. You cannot decipher it. But of course, we're very intelligent, we know. If you ask them, okay, give us uh, the date this thing happened near your house in Ghana, they can never give you. Oh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's not my house. It's, it's fake news. They're carrying fake news. It's not my house. It's in, it's in Ghana. They go and bring all... You know they, they pay people that the company in Israel that they paid to be providing them with all these avatars, all these fake fake names, and be publishing rubbish. Same thing in Russia. They have them. Two of them. This is from the social media uh, department in Asarok. What they do is once Vanguard publishes anything that is pro Biafra, they go there, ah, it's a Biafra fraud, it's a scam. And you ask them, can you tell us one person that their friends have scammed before they cannot tell you? Can you tell us um, how agitating for freedom is a fraud? They can't tell you. Will you ask them, does it mean that when Aziki were a wall and the four below were fighting uh, for, for the zoo to become decolonized, we are there for class, they can't answer you. You ask them, so does it mean that what Mandela was doing was a fraud? They cannot answer. Oh, does it mean that what Martin Luther King was doing to free his people in America is a fraud? They cannot answer. But if they keep writing, it's a scam, it's a fraud. It's a... One day they know you are black. They, they, I'm very sorry to say, the people that gave them that brain, that is release. I'm sorry to say. It was his release that gave them that brain. You know, they tried, but we are IPOB. We always defeat them. With all due respect. They tried with, oh, they, they are touts. Remember? That one did not hold for a, maybe less than about a year or two. Oh, they are, they are, they are, they are, what, what do they call us again? That we are opportunists. Remember opportunists? That one did not hold. They tried then, um, they are, they are desperate for fame. They didn't work. They said, the Kano wants money and fame. They gave me money in prison and I said to hell with all of you. They ran away. That one did not work. Then, when I came out of prison, they are mysterious. The reason why they use all these words is to demoralize you. To make you feel, you know, maybe, you know, you know, especially those born in Lagos and in, in Kano and in Kaduna, you know, maybe there is scam, you know, he's not a good show, or is maybe there is scam, or ask them, when is it a scam to fight for the freedom of the people They cannot tell you? People don't know the games these animals are playing. They have multiple Facebook accounts in their thousands. That was what they were investigating Facebook over. Have you forgotten? 
People buy up their their the their what they call their their users, the list. And from there they load accounts. Making it sound as if it is Americans who are concerned about um, one thing or the other. That was why they were saying that uh, no tampering in elections in America. <laughs> tampering in Biafra restoration. Well, and, I, and I don't delete anything. Once, they, once I post something, you see them, they come. Not on Oche and her gang. They will come. Oh, it is a scam. It is a fraud. Oh, you, they, for, they can never answer them. If you post, they can never answer that question. You give them the picture of Buhari before he died. The picture of Jubril. And ask them, are these two people the same? They will not answer. They will say, oh, Jeffrey is a scam. That's the answer. She may kill people here. I mean, this is the picture of a uh, video of Buhari with Angela Merkel in Germany. This is the video of Jubril flipping through an album. If you remember, when he went to, he declared he went to, and I asked uh, Fulane, Jan Jawid, and Amajiri, are these two people in these two videos the same person? They cannot answer. They will say, Biafra is a scam. But if you're an Ifulif, you know, all those that my mama say are Bibo, you'll be taken in by it. Because there are some commentators, although they may bear Biafra names, they want to be seen to belong. They want to be, they want to impress their masters. They want to be seen to be part of the Nigerian moving train so they can accommodate them. They are begging to be accommodated. Those idiots are sucked into their lives. That is why we keep exposing them. Every picture, uh, I'll get to that later on. Let us finish this first. Let me talk about what is happening to those who are hungry. I'll come to back here later and the fraud in the zoo. I will destroy them. I'll decimate them with facts and figures. They asked for the hotel and I gave it to them. Have they come back to say it is a lie? Have they ever come back to say, even to mention the hotel Sevilla? In Havana, in Cuba, they are terrified of it. And they are wondering how did they even get the pictures of the inside. Because we know you people are liars. We know the way you operate. You always start with Photoshop. With, they begin with Photoshop. After a while, after a while, they do the video and you fall for it. As fools. Not all of you, because most of you are very reasonable. And as I said, of course, Facebook have gone. They started removing people from Radio Biafra. But that's what they do. Go to my page and do listen. You can join us via our multitude of platforms. Also, that is what Facebook and it's your people working for Facebook. Tell me how they will see any good. Tell me how a real people can can you, you can be eating your own flesh. It's nothing to do with you. We are broadcasting to our people and letting the world. All you are doing. As a Facebook worker is to go to Radio Biafra page and say, oh, uh, uh, Radio Biafra is on. Now the time is broadcasting. Let me be removing people. That is why on Radio Biafra, even on my page, if I, I will post it tomorrow, between a three-week period, 12,000 likes. On my page, they only credited 200. That is what they do. To give the world the impression that oh, he hasn't got followers. That is what that. Who are the people doing this? In the Europe, in Europe. Yoruba is doing it. I don't understand this type of people. We have tried to be friendly. They don't, I don't know what keeps pushing them towards this very evil. I don't know what is wrong with them. Of course, not all of them. But the majority of them always gravitating towards evil. I don't know why. I keep asking you about people. Why do you people love evil so much? We are not in a complaint. We want to be free. We we are free before Luca became. Don't you understand it? Let everybody be free on their own. If in the future we want to come together to form some kind of an alliance, then it is possible with the consent of the people, not by force. They will not understand it. All they do is they go to Facebook, be removing, be removing. I uh, will be broadcasting on 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 radio Biafra. You will see uh, two thousand, three thousand people. All of a sudden, it's five hundred. Why they do it, I have no idea. Why they tamper with my broadcast, I have no idea. But they have failed. The level of horrific attacks by the army and police on civilians is uncalled for. I wrote about this, it's uncalled for. 
I was forced earlier today to post something on my page. And when I posted it, one of the people said, oh, he is now a blogger. He forgot the point I was raising. That black people appear to be very, very wicked, you know. I, I don't know why we are. Maybe it's something that is driving the Yoruba people. I don't, they cannot, they cannot help it. They, can, they will try, try, try to be straight and nice. They can never help it. They will always gravitate towards uh, um, all these, you know, dubiousness. And I have no, I have no reason why. I have no uh, answer to it. That's why they do it. They say I criticize them, and I say to them, when I started broadcasting on radio, if you hear what I used to say about Igbo people. If you're an evil person, if you see me outside, you shoot me. Go and ask. Go and play my own. I started with my own people first. I started with them. I laid ourselves bare. And Elohim said, only those that will listen to this level of castigation and come will get beautiful. That is why IPOB is unbreakable. You don't know that our foundation is built on self deprecation and self-criticism. You don't understand it? That was how we started. So when I say what I'm saying about any group of people, it is the truth. It is the truth. The people that uh, uh, confuse the world, uh, that uh, Jubril is Buhari, is he not Yoruba journalist? Is he not Yoruba journalist? But today, secretly, they'll be calling powerful, saying, oh, you, you put a right home. What you're saying is right, huh? but when I was saying it before, you didn't. You didn't allow your your envy and your jealousy to allow you to see reason. The same thing happened to our people. When we started, I used to. I I said it live on air. I will not fight for Igbo national liberation. Never. I will only fight for Biafra. I said it live on air because our, our behavior is not good. Do you think I, I spare anybody? My father was a traditional ruler of my people. I am a Republican. I don't believe in monarchy. I don't. I believe that all men are born equal. I don't believe in it. That's how I am. I will come on air and I said to my father, I will, as soon as Jafra comes, I will divide this your chair and I will, my mother will use it to cook a kazi soup for me. It's a shame she's no longer around to do that. That is who we are. That is what IPOB is made up of. If you think we wallow in self-pity, you are dreaming. If you see, like our people that are selling over and at the market price, am I sparing them? Do you think I'm going to spare them? Because of, uh, because they are Biafrans? Of course not. I will not spare them. That is how we are. That is how Biafra is going to be. When your leader is doing very well, you praise him or her. When they do bad, you castigate them. And they won't do anything about it. That is the type of Biafra that we want. Not where you keep hiding. You see evil. And you keep hiding. I, I, I can't understand it with these people. I don't understand it. Why are you removing people who are listening to radio before? What of what 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 has it got to do with you people? Why are you doing this? I ask. Why? They can't answer. But when bomb goes off in Akura, your eyes will open and say, Oh, he's a bombo. But when they kill the Igbo people in a, in a, a blood, you said no, it's a pipeline. Your own is bomb, our own is pipeline. I want God to love you. Oh, no, no. It doesn't work that way. Change your ways. The Yoruba is a very good race. Oduduwa, very good people. As I keep saying all the time, very good people. Very good people. But there are bad eggs in Yoruba land. Worse than they have in Biafra. Worse than we have in Biafra land. Worse. A journalist will stand up and try to tell me that that thing, Jubilee, is Buhari. A with two functioning eyes because they gave him. Do you know how much they have offered me before? Do you know they asked me to take only the five states of um, Southeast and go and I said no? Are you aware of that? And those who are present, they, uh, they are alive till tomorrow morning. When they were offering me all this. Do you know how much they gave me? And I said no. Do you know how much they gave my parents and they said no? Do you know how many times they came to my house and offered and I said no? Are you aware of that? Because I want this very IPOB to remember for one thing. That is why I said before we came, there was none like us. Now we are here, there can never be any. And after we are forever and ever, there will be no group of people like us. Do you know why I say that? Because we are incorruptible. It doesn't matter what you say is rubbish to us. Incorruptible. Because if you go and you investigate, you, you look, you see how clean we are. 
and then you will understand. Army and police stop killing people unless you're Boko Haram or you're a terrorist from the north. Stop killing civilians. They need to go and find So behave like human beings and not like animals. Behave like human beings for once in your useless lives. The people that you're beating civilians for, they are important. Are your, are your children are they, are they better off? I want to ask all these soldiers and uh, police that are uh, always beating people. Don't you have? Do you know why you're wearing the uniform you're wearing? It is to protect the masses, not to protect the politician. That's how foolish some of you are. You think because a policeman is your job to obey the the Janjawi Dogan uh, uh, commissioner uh, from Katsina, that is doing the job of a master in, in, in Abuja. Your job is to protect the people. Your job is to protect the people. Not to kill them. Not to beat them. You are a public servant. You are wearing that uniform to protect them. Protect. P-R-O-T-E-C-T. -E protect them, not to kill them. Every other place in the world, you see police sharing food. You see... Uh, uh, a hospital was com completed at the Excel Center in London in two weeks. It is the most advanced. Listen, in two weeks, it is the most advanced intensive care unit anywhere in the whole world. They built it in two weeks at the Excel Center. Ask anybody that knows UK very well. Ask anybody that knows London very well. It, uh, one stretch of it is one kilometer long. They built it. Do you know who built it? The British Army built it the engineering corps of the army. Instead of the army, I don't know where they go. They said, oh, I went to all that shot. I went to Sandhurst. Is it not the same soldier that went to Sandhurst that built a hospital for the, for the people? Your own, you went to Sandhurst, you, you, you went back to the zoo or to another part of Africa and you're beating people up. Is that what they taught you at Sandhurst uh, uh, Military School, Military Academy? Or at Mons? Is that what they taught you? So he said, uh, I, I, I went to Defense Academy in, in, uh, in uh, what's it called, West Point. I went to West Point. I'm asking you, is it not the same people that went to West Point that is bringing the ship, God mercy, and bringing it into New York to relieve pressure on the hospitals? And in Africa, what our army is doing is actually beating people to death. And you're telling me there's not something wrong with us? You're telling me we are normal? Is that, is that what people are telling me? That somehow we are all okay? Your fellow soldiers elsewhere are building hospitals, handing out food as in, uh, in, in Germany and all the rest of the places, and in Africa, our own soldiers that should be running around getting hospitals ready and the roads and everything, you are busy killing people and beating them. You stay at home. People legitimately going to sell food because people don't have food so you don't have electricity there is no fridge people don't have the money so are you saying that you are now working for coronavirus that you people and coronavirus and you are all of you are in the game together to kill Africans with hunger to destroy everybody in Africa with hunger is that your plan? Because if that is not your plan why are you beating people who are coming out and when you are a soldier you are supposed to defend them you're a policeman, you're supposed to defend. These are the people you're supposed to defend. Go and talk to them and say, oh, where are you going to? I'm going to sell food. Okay, go if you're going to sell food. But make, make sure you keep, you observe the two meters or whatever it's called. Where do you want them to get food to eat? Do you see how callous, cold, and heartless people are? Do you see, I keep telling you, this is why God doesn't love Africa. And I'm saying to Bia France tonight, if this is the mindset we have, the mentality of the zoo, of all these useless African countries killing innocent people for no reason because they're looking for food to eat. If that is the type of Biafra we're going into, then God will not give us Biafra. I'm telling you the truth. If you think Biafra is going to be another useless African country, then you're dreaming. You are dreaming because it can never be. There the soldiers will take care of. Your job as a soldier is to defend, defend the country from external aggression. That is your job. Not to meddle in checkpoints, not to go and look, be looking for people to kill. That is not your job. As a policeman, your job is to ensure the security and the safety of the people. Somebody is outside, ask him or her, why are you outside? I am going to hospital to see my grandmother. Nobody to take food to her. How can you be such a person? Are you insane? So you want the woman in the hospital to die? 
I don't know what God made these African men. I don't know the God that made them. I don't know the God that made these people. Why are we so wicked? Why are we so wicked to ourselves? It is horrific. Barbaric and uncalled for. All these killings. That is why you go to the market, you see a mob, they lynch people. They kill somebody for stealing bread because he's hungry. But the same politicians that made you who, as impoverished as you are, you'll be hailing him in his proud as he's coming. You're hailing him. Why is it everything about us is upside down in Africa? Everything is upside down. In far more civilized countries, they kill the politician. The person that is stealing the bread, they make sure he or she has a job to go to. That is how human beings behave. That is how people with empathy and feeling behave towards one another. That is the type of Biafra we are seeking to build. I am not suffering myself, losing my parents, my men dying left, right and center to come and build another useless, useless country like this you have. Never. It won't happen. These are the things you must understand and take it on board that there is something called public service. I saw the, 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 the two, these two videos that I actually saw of uh, fumigation. I saw one in Indonesia. If you see the speed of the vehicle, some to try and post it somewhere, give it to Amaka to post. Amaka, if you post the one you actually have, post it here, you see. Look at what they're using share talks. You know, you know, not even share talks. They're using, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, gallon. But they spray it on the floor. I, I, I felt sorry for for what I didn't laugh, I felt sorry for them. Look at other places, how they're doing fumigation all over the place. Look at this. And yours we are and you come again, somebody will come from that. You say, Oh, oh he deserves to be president again. You see how sick people are. So I'm asking, and I'm saying this to be our friends all over the world tonight. If we have the same mentality as other African nations, we will not succeed. That is why I am as hard as I am on Biafran people as well as uh, onto those who are misbehaving. I want us to learn to be self-critical, to be able to absorb criticism and be able to act on what is right, good counsel and good advice. That is how we are going to build a phenomenally powerful nation in Africa. We are going to be open and very transparent, very, very open. Nothing should be hidden. You see the way, you see how wicked Afri in, in, in Kenya they kill somebody, in, in, in Ghana they kill somebody, in South Africa they kill somebody. Who are they? How many people have been shed in America by American police, American army? How many people in the UK? How many in Italy have been killed? But only in Africa. I don't know. Once they put on that uniform, they turn into a demon. A demon. And they say, oh, he, he's a major general. He served this country. He was busy brutalizing innocent people. And when they see Boko Haram, they run. Uh, for, for once, I was actually happy that Boko Haram was killing them today. Because you can't, I can't believe that against an army well equipped, you run away from battlefield. And because, crying like a baby, oh, we don't have weapons. What weapons are you using to be shooting innocent people on the road? What weapons are you using then? I'm asking you. Dear friends, please, we cannot be like these African countries. We cannot be. We cannot have the typical mentality of a black person who, who is full of wickedness. Of hatred for himself. That is why you will go outside and you will see a woman and you will beat her into 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 a coma in Abuja. She has children. She has mouths to feed. She's a mother. Her natural instinct is to find food for those babies. And now she's in a hospital with a brain injury. Who caused it? Police. Now, I keep asking people, of what need is Nigeria then? What? All of you, after beating them all, splitting their skull, the, tomorrow you hear them write about Nigeria. Hey, let's hope this country gets better. You know it can never get better. You know that very well. How can this people be subjecting innocent people with hungry children to such very, very shameful treatment? 
I said it, I concluded that very piece by saying that when other people around the world say that Africans are very evil, they call us monkeys, Africans are bad, is because of the wickedness they see in us. We are very wicked. As they, as they see us, you say, how can somebody take the monument for his people? You go to Dubai, you buy houses, you go to America, you buy houses, you go to Europe, you buy houses. And there is no, your constituents not have anywhere to stay. Anyway, I don't blame the police. I actually blame the people. If there's ever going to be a revolution, the time is now, actually. It's now. Because this thing, you see, you see what is going to happen. There will be a revolution. And I hope that they summon the courage to fight those who are meant to be fought. The corrupt politicians. And let me remind the army and the police in the zoo. You people do not want to be on the wrong side of history. That Russia is moving forward today was because the Communist Party, when they were dying away, asked the army to shoot at the people. The army said no, because the army came. They are but let me let me tell you why I know that the zoo must divide. Because what they do is that they send the Fulani to to Biafra land. They send one or two uh, Biafran commanders to go to the west and send the west to go. So when, once the order comes, open fire, open fire, because they are not your people. But any day you have a police commissioner from Anambra, an Anambra man from Nnewi, as Anambra police commissioner, oh, come on, tell me now, is he going to open fire on his own people? The answer is no. He will dialogue. Do you see common sense? He will dialogue. The, that was something that the British did to us. Is their plan. Take somebody from Zamfara. Take him to Ogun. Tell somebody from Ogun to, 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 to cross river. Once the order comes from above, which is Abuja, order, open fire now. They start the open fire because the, the uncle is not there. The brother is not there. His name is, uh, is Adekunle. The person he's uh, killing is, um, is, uh, is, uh, is Onyebuji. So what, what's his business? Do you understand the way these things work? That is why Biafra has to be different. And must be very, very different. I am asking food retailers. Let it be known to everybody selling food in Biafra land. You cannot inflate your prices. We would ask the governors to allow you to sell your food. Because food is essential. At this very time. I mean, I wasn't happy when I saw the picture of um, uh, uh, people's um, wares being destroyed. It's not good. And we are also saying to our people, do not destroy anything, please. Do not destroy anything that belongs to our people. Do not, please, I'm begging you, destroy anything. Allow our people, please, allow our people to do that which is right, which is to sell their wares. As I said earlier, Facebook have actually shut down Radio Biafra, this very live transmission, because we are hitting them hard, telling them the truth. But we must go back. We must restart on Radio Biafra, and we must go back. We must return to continue this very broadcast this very day. Very, very critical, very, very important. We are live and we are direct. I've not even gone to Jubilee. The time now is 15 minutes past. 15 minutes past 8 in the evening. The same number of minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are. Wherever you are, we are live. Yeah, somebody said, we are, I'm off air. Somebody said, you are off air 7.53. So I've been talking all this while. Somebody said I am off air. That's on Radio Biafra. We are back now on Radio Biafra. Let me also check where else we may be off and make sure that we are okay. I want to... The one, my page is still going. My page is still going. I'm the canon. I, Facebook say I, I have... Is it... um? How, 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 many, how many followers? 180 something thousand followers, which is peanuts anyway, which is nothing. Before, before we grew exponentially, we were more than that, but it is how they are. They will never ever succeed. We are back again on Radio Biafra. As I told you, it is Yoruba. They are the ones doing it. They work for Facebook in Abuja and in Lagos. They are the ones doing it. Fulani will give them money, they will do it. And when Fulani kills them, they will tell you about it. We want to restructure Nigeria. One day they want to be Nigeria, next day they want to restructure. They don't know what they want. I'm very sorry to say this, but it is the truth. I speak the truth. I don't give a damn who gets upset. I tell you the truth. Because here we are consistently consistent. 
we do not change. I am warning our food retailers, please, do not let any price. We are all in this together. Do not, please. Very, very important. Do not. Do not inflate any price. I understand the demand and supply, and believe me, I am a capitalist. I want market forces to rule and to determine to set price. I know that we are in a state of war. As I said, in a state of war, uh, you cannot uh, charge what the you know, market says you should charge. You shouldn't do that. Not at all. Not at all. We are live and we are direct. And um, ordinary Rwanda that came up yesterday gave food to their people. Ordinary Rwanda, Rwanda gave food to their people. But in the zoo called Nigeria, they said, uh, we that we have the oil and we have the gas. <laughs> They said we cannot um, be part of what they are doing. And uh, the likes of, uh, is it Innocent gave them money? This Innocent is to provoke also. Innocent is trying to provoke me, honestly speaking. Innocent has, he has come again. After fighting for you, so they didn't disgrace you, you, you went and donated uh, uh, Armour Personnel Carrier to Army. We forgot about it. Now you have come again. This money you could have used, uh, don't give to IPOB. I'm not asking you to give me. This money you could have used to go and establish a testing center in Oka or in Onesha. You have given it to the federal government of the zoo. And now, as always, they're forgotten about us. Emeka Ofo gave them 12 billion, but Emeka Ofo was raised as, an, as a full animal. So, yeah, I don't count him. He's not one of us. He's not a Biafran. He's not Igbo. So, he's not. He's not he, as I said before, some of you don't know his history. He was with us. They wouldn't. They used as an experiment after the war. He was a template for them. They wanted to kill every child up until the age of 10. Force them to speak Hausa. Indoctrinate them and raise them. He was one of the victims of that very policy. That is why he's the way he is. You can't change him. You cannot change him. These are useless people donating billions. These are their friends donating billions. And isn't it very funny? And they were mentioning all the uh, multi trillionaires and billionaires. There was nobody from the Afro land, none from South South, the so called, none from Southeast. None. They, they had a, a lucky guy. They had a, 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 a Lumelu who worked for his money. I think it was in Zenith, Zenith Bank. He worked for his money. The rest are all oil money and gas. They were mentioning a lucky guy. The Dangote. These are people, billionaires. For, uh, from what God gave Biafran people. But they, they, for them to have access to the oil and gas in Biafran land, they cleverly divided uh, us into uh, uh, Southeast and South South, Igbo and, um, and Niger Delta. That's all. That's all they did. Very simple maths, very neat and, uh, and simple. And we all fell for that rubbish. Eh, I'm from, I'm from, you call it, I'm not Igbo, I'm from Anioma. Your name is Anioma. Anioma. Good land in Igbo language. Oh, but I'm not Igbo. We are from Akaraka, in, from Jukun. Mad, insane people. And meanwhile, they're thinking oil and gas. That is why you have a total of multi billionaire, a, a lackage, they are with the presidency. And I'm asking them, who from your so called Niger Delta is an oil billionaire with the presidency? Galifanting all over the place. Zero. Instead, your pipeline security guard. Shame on all of us. I don't blame them. I also blame the leadership. The evil leadership after the war is also to blame. 70%. Because as the first son, it is your responsibility to go and look for your brothers. Nothing stopped them or Haneze after the war from going to see the Obama of Calabar, from going to see the Obama neighbor of Okreka to say, let bygone be bygone, we are one people. Look at our culture, look at the way your dress is, the way I'm dressed. Forget about the language differences, we are one people. They never did it. I was one... In 1999, I started it. I went to, 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 oh, uh, what is the place in, um, uh, where you have Hotel Chester is on the other side. So, it's not Ogunabali. It's Ogunabali, isn't it? It's Ogunabali, isn't it? In, along Abar Road. Ogunabali, yes. At, um, Atlari Junction. I went there. No, no, not Atlari. Oh, there, there's somebody who knows you, what else should tell me. Please, Ogunabali, I think. Yes, Ogunabali. I went there. From where you go to Transamada, you know the old hotel Chester is that road you, from there you, you enter town. I went there to the village. You go and see the traditional ruler. Then in the village, 
I saw him later me, he said, my son, uh, I accept what you're saying, but where is your father? Or where are your fathers? They should be the, they should be the one to undertake this. I did, in 1999, when I see idiots, uh, upper, upper Benue Congress, uh, 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 side Benue, side, uh, uh, River Valley of Benue, I, I laugh at the idiots. In 1999, 1999, I was at, uh, somebody should give me the name, I'm looking for it, I, I want the name, why have to hotel test it is, um, that junction you go to, to Transamari, along about road, please. After Water Lines, if you're going inside the town, after Water Lines, the next junction, what is it called, please? I went there. The man said, with all due respect, my son, uh, I expect you to be accompanied by your fathers, not you coming alone here to speak to us. We are waiting for them. Till today, they have not done it. Very, very, uh, uh, South South, South East, uh, South East uh, uh, governors, South South governors. I look at them. They keep taking our oil. Now, with our own money, there is a, look at the level of impunity and disgrace. The level of impunity and disgrace. They say the network is very bad. Very bad. People are complaining that the network is bad. Please, you go to my page. I believe that my page is far more stable. If you have any difficulties, please go to Mazin Nam the Canon. That's the page there. That's far more stable. It appears. Please. Uh, and I call for 12 billion. So they will like him. Is that obvious? You want to come to Anambra? The answer is no. But tomorrow you come to the village. You come to the disturbing uh, uh, Jofa in the village. And tell you, you are so What about stupid tattoo they gave him? That guy, who get hold of you, and then you will know. Mad people. And now we have come to Abakiari because we need to round up within two hours. Abakiari. <laughs> I told you that they are liars, and liars they are. They said, oh, Abakiari is, is in, is in Babalada Center. We, we flew him by air ambulance. You know, you know, Zuri journalism. If you give them money, and if you tell them now, uh, give them uh, uh, 5,600 5, and say, right, that Satan is good. Satan is coming tomorrow. Let's worship Satan. They're exactly what you want to write for you. Satan is good. So says the uh, social so, so person. They gave them money and said, Abakiari, we are now flying him from from uh, Guagulada to Lagos. And the media lost and wrote, uh, uh, Abakiari flown to Lagos. Everybody, hey, he's in Lagos. Now the kind of said he's in, he's in Cuba, he's in Lagos. And I'm saying to them, Boris Johnson is sick, you can see him. All those who are sick from coronavirus, you can see them. Prince Charles, you can see him. He's suffering from corona. Even the voice of the queen, you can hear it. Who is this man, the aircraft we did not see, where he took off from nowhere, when he's landed, even if he landed and you wheeled him into an ambulance, nothing. And the uh, 200 million people lapped it up. Yeah, he's in Lagos now. They, if you ask them, how do you know he's in Lagos? They said he's in Lagos. They said. And when we present all the facts and the evidence, they still do not seem to grasp it. I said to somebody who called me today, I said to, to him, do you know the distance from here to the sun? He said he doesn't know. I said you can find it on Google or find it on YouTube. I think it's about roughly about 50 million. 50 million miles or 50 million miles, one of those. I think 50 million miles. I said, have you been to the sun before? He said no. I said, then, I said if it is in Africa, if you say to an African man as um." As um, an astrophysicist, he said, I have calculated the distance from here to the sun. It's about 50 miles. No, sorry, 50 million miles. You know what an African will say to you? How do you know? You've not been there. How do you know? He said, this is how we measure it. The light from the sun travels at a very phenomenal speed. Of, um, I don't know, I think it's 300 and something thousand miles per second or so. Yeah, about 360,000 miles per second. The speed of light. So we've calculated the time to take light to leave the surface of the sun to get to the earth. And moreover, we have observatories, we have satellites, and we have laboratories with somebody in space calculating the photons, the speed of the photon as it's traveling through space. You say, oh no, I, I don't agree. Oh. You've not been there. How can you know? You have laid bare for him the physics behind it. He will still tell you, no, I don't believe you. Until you go to the sun, you cannot know how far it is. That is how Africans debate. And that is why we are backwards. That is why we have no light. 
That is why we go outside and they beat us. You have given somebody every, every shred of evidence. He's saying, oh, because the newspaper said he's in, in Lagos. Yeah, he's in Lagos. And uh, luckily for us, <laughs> luckily for us, the Lagos State Health Commissioner, Lagos State Health Commissioner, you know what he said? I don't know where Abak Yali is. They said he went to Lagos. He is in the care of the Lagos State. And the people wake up every day and say, I'm a Nigerian. I believe in the federal government of Nigeria. They lie. Do you know one thing about civil societies? Once you lie once, they will never believe you again. If you're a witness in a court of law, not in the zoo, of course, and under cross-examination, you can see that you've lied before. Every, your testimony is finished. Everything you're saying is a lie. Now, these people, because they lie to you, once they lie to you, they pay the media, they pay their, some of their Yoruba friends, they pay their heiress, their and they come and they say, oh, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. You say it is true. Luckily for us, they said the man went to Lagos. We have now asked the Lagos uh, State Commissioner for Health. What did he say? I don't know about Yari's whereabouts. I don't know where he is. And you're telling me that this is the government to give one billion to, to spend for you. A government that lies. Every blessed day they are lying. Every day they are lying to you. And you want to run a government based on lies. Shame on all of them. Shame on all of them. The world knows that Nigeria has no government. As I keep saying all the time, if you understand diplomatic language, please go and read the tweet from Ambassador Campbell. Read it over and over and over and over again. You will understand it. That Nigeria has no government. Because the head of government is actually Abakiyari, who is the de facto president, and he is incapacitated in Cuba with coronavirus. That is why they lied to you that they flew him from Bagrada to Lagos. They lied to you. Ask them for the pictures. We have seen Boris Johnson. He, is, uh, he has corona. We've seen him. Where is this one? Nobody can see him. Imagine a whole, uh, an ordinary chief of staff issuing a press statement is in, in his own right. Have you ever heard of anywhere in the world where a lowly ranked officer like chief of staff? Now the two of say, oh, he's very high, he's chief of staff. No, because in Nigeria, Buhari is dead and he took over. That's why he has prominence. If I ask you, okay, who was chief of staff now under Jonathan, without going to Google, will you know? But whatever, if you ask me who is the chief of staff under Buhari, they'll tell you it is... Um, is um, Abakiyari. His prominence owes to the fact that Buhari is no more and he, is the, he knows where all the skeletons are buried. Simple logic, simple common sense. Some of you cannot get it due to fear. And your fear does not benefit you. After being afraid, even if you go out to eat, they'll still knock you on the head and crack your skull open. So it's about time to stop being afraid so that the revolution can begin. I know some people want us to, 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 to be part of what they are planning, but um, no. We want to get our Biafra and move on from there. They keep lying to you, and you keep accepting it, and that is why you are in one almighty mess. One almighty mess. And as a result, that is why they are destroying food. Women who have, have, have said it before, please, the army and the police, stop destroying the food. People are hungry. If you keep destroying the food that people cannot eat, there will be a revolution. I see you in a uniform, you'll be killed. That's what happens in a revolution. That gun, maybe you're holding maybe about 50 rounds. You fight and you finish. Maybe you can kill 10 or, or, or 15 people, but the rest will descend on you. They will tear your flesh with their bare hands. That's what happens in a revolution. People are angry. France is a republic. France could have been like Britain today. Marie Antoinette was the queen said, um, uh, they said to her that the people are hungry, they said to her with them, uh, they want bread. Oh, she sarcastically said, oh, why don't you give them cake if they want bread? Hunger can drive men to do what is <laughs> irrational. I'm telling you, stop destroying the food in the market. Please, I am asking you and I'm begging you to be, because these are very difficult times. People will need to eat. Very, very important. They cannot feed the people. 
They cannot protect the people, but they only torment, destroy food, and kill. That is mindless, corrupt, Fulani government at its very best. That's what they're doing, but some of you cannot say it because you are blind. You are blind in Biafra land. We are going to a country that provides social welfare to its citizens, especially at times like this. Countries that are providing for the citizens are not brutalizing them. Only African, backward, primitive countries are doing so. This nonsense must stop and stop with immediate effect. Must stop. Very, very important place. Every other country is evacuating their people. They are not evacuating their people from Ghana. They are not evacuating their people from Ethiopia. They are not evacuating their people from Uganda. They are not evacuating their people from Kenya. They are not evacuating their people from Zambia. They are not evacuating their people from South Africa. Why are they evacuating from Nigeria? Because they know there is no health system in Nigeria. They know that when the prediction of Bill Gates <laughs> starts happening, that their citizens will die. All of them took them out. And you're not asking questions. All tomorrow they get another Photoshop. Oh, but let me show you how to how to cut you no know, how to choose to stick tomorrow. Somebody is showing you how to wash hand on a still photograph. Picture ordinary photo. If you want to show me how to, if you want to show me how to wash hands properly, won't you be able? Are you not going to do that in a video so I can see how long you washed your hands and how well you've washed it? See where all the soap, the lather from the soap, where it got to. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? This one showed you two photographs in the in the of a nightclub in the basement of a hotel in 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 Havana, in Cuba. And they say, hey, he's washing hands. He's showing us. How is he showing us how to wash hands? If these are still, am I making any sense? These are still photographs. These are still photographs. You're showing me how to wash hands. It's not like somebody telling you, oh, I want to show you how to slice your kazi. You know, it's my favorite um, soup. I want to show you uh, how to slice your kazi. And you sent me a picture of holding a knife over Okazi or the, a few leaves of Okazi you're holding in your hand. How can I know how you're going to cut it? Is, is that not common sense? But in Femi Adeshino, the, the master for Luwane Forger, master forger, he will forge a picture and show you you accept it. And the same presidency said, federal government is like this. We cross upon Christ every blessed day. The people they claim, the person they claim is your president. Jubril that they're calling Buhari. You can't see him. I'll go to the video that they show. I'll get to the video that they shot later on. I'll tell you how they intend to, to be confusing all of you. It is my submission this evening that if this disease takes hold in America, there will be a problem. That is why. Why? No matter how primitive these people are, we must take social distancing and every measure to stay alive, please. Very, very important. Very, very important. This is a biological weapon. I saw it on a movie. That's what is driving me insane. Nobody told me. I saw it. Somebody sent me the link and I saw it. I couldn't believe it. They called it COVID-19. It's a biological weapon. It will kill people. With, and exactly, I don't know. They said the movie is in 2015. I don't know. And that's what's happening in 2020. I was shocked. I was shocked. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And what are we doing? They just sit at home, locked down, ordered by the president. President is there, no. President is any tomatoes, no. President is any onions, no. But you, the presidency, that are contributing billions, you have billions of dollars from the sale of oil and gas. Where is the money? You don't have any. Any food reserve, there is no food reserve. And people are dying every blessed day. Dying every blessed day. Every blessed day. People are dying and perishing. Do you know why people are perishing? Because you allowed them to mess, mess up with you. 
There is a small bag, waterproof bag, they wrote COVID-19. Uh, please, Amaka, uh, can you post that video, please? A uh, rapid emergency food response, Co COVID-19, is called. Inside the bag, you have one cup of, cup, um, um, cup of um, milk. One cup of garlic. I think two cubes of um, sugar. Um, you have, um, you have rice, uh, three of rice. And that is COVID-19. And now the idiot, uh, scamming, you know, that's why they call you a scam because they are scammer. The idiot doing this will tell you to, it costs 20,000. Uh, when I was in prison, they said it cost 20,000 to feed one prisoner. I used to, of course, IPOB used to feed me and we feed many other people in the prison. But, uh, they collect 20,000 on my head every blessed day that they're feeding me, giving me special food, which is a lie. They are scammers. That is why they think everybody else is a thief. Fulani thinks everybody else is a thief like them. No, we are not. We are Biafans. And we move to our hands are very clean. Post that video, please. COVID-19, emergency food response. Rubbish! They collect money from people. And, of course, from the oil and sale of oil and gas, and nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing ever happens anyway. Nothing ever happens. And after collecting all the money from the people, what, what, oh my, uh, we have approved payment, we are now paying poorest families uh, 5,000. In the afternoon, we are now paying poorest families 20,000, their own news headline. Do you believe them? How many of them have received it? Is there any Biafra in receipt of 20,000 from the zoo? Is it not our money? They from the sale of oil and gas? They are made all of them billionaires? Is it not our, is it not our oil and gas? I am asking everybody, including those who stupidly call themselves Nigerians, out of stupidity and ignorance. They are fools. Call yourself Niger. We South South and Niger Delta. The more you divide, that is what Fulani wants. The more you divide, the more it is easier for them to, to, to penetrate and, and steal our resources and enslave us in the process. Yeah. Some are even asking me, let me imagine Al Majid asking me, Oh, uh, can you send me some of the 50 million you placed? Send me the money. Is it this audio money? Look at the idiots. So I will say to them, Go to, to, to Nikola, the money is there. It's, in, uh, it's actually, we have it actually in dollars. And in Naira, we have it cash. So that the police can go there and say, Oh, we are doing reading. Uh, it's, it's a terrorist money. So they will take it. And then you, you see them in, in Abuja, they will be laughing and smiling. Them, you know, we told them to show us the money as, as we showed them our transmitter and the ticket. <laughs> Have you forgotten? They think we are foolish. If I, Bia France will contribute money and then trust to me to fight for their freedom and to save them from this pestilence, and then I will, uh, you think I am that stupid, I will come on air and say, uh, This is the bank where the money is. Uh, this is the person that is holding the money. Do you see how foolish is some useless black people are? Very useless. They can't reason at all. We are organizing our doctors, of course. We are doing that and we are spoken to them. And we are waiting and preparing. And there are other local remedies we've been told. You know, once you have a problem, if they say you have a, a, a physician that will cure you in, in Ijebo, then you will go. If they say, if it, if it doesn't work there, they say, oh, you have one in Jalingo, you will go there. Anywhere they say you will get better, you will go and look for treatment. So people have been suggesting a lot of remedies for this um, COVID-19. And I suggest Uri, I think, isn't it? It's Uri, shea butter. So they said, you put Uri on your hand, you put Uri around your nostrils, some in your nose. And I know people can also drink not too much, just a tiny bit and put it on your tongue. That's what they said. It's for prevention, not for cure. Please, prevention, not for cure. Because uh, apparently, um, um, Uri contains, which is shea butter, contains some, some um, antiviral substances. I don't know. That's what we've been told. I saw a lot of, in the clip, I saw a lot of Chinese people rushing it. So that, that is another additional protective measure you can apply in your house. When, after washing your hands in the evening and uh, of course taking a shower, that is another remedy you can actually apply to try and see if this thing can be kept at bay. Very, very important, please. And stop clapping for people who are making your life a misery. 
most of the people you see online praising some of these corrupt governors and and the criminals in Asarok, they are paid, they are hired, they are not even who you think they are. Go to their profile, you will see it. They are not who you think they are. They are just automatically computer-generated responses. Very, very important, please. Some of them write the same thing all the time. They are not human, that they are automatically generated from a computer. Very, very important, please, that we pay attention to this. We pay attention. They are evacuating their citizens. We must be very, very vigilant, please. I must hastily proceed. There is also, I am going to discuss it with the doctors tomorrow. There is, um, some people say that is, this is a cure. Um, but when Trump said it, the big pharmaceutical companies didn't like him. They started to attack him, the UCNN, which is another <laughs> organization set up by Lucifer, to attack Trump. But apparently a, a doctor had come out to say that um, it works. Hydrochloroquine and azithromycin with zinc. I will discuss it with the doctors tomorrow. We need to have stocks of this so that once somebody shows the earliest signs, once they become symptomatic, once they show symptoms, we deploy these drugs. Hydrochloroquine, no, sorry, hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin, and zinc as well. So what they said is that zinc enables the absorption of azithromycin that makes it impossible for the virus to, you know those things those tentacles it has on its head to attaching to your to your lungs very very important place and it works this doctor said he used it in new york and it worked they used it in new york and it worked and uh, some people are complaining, you know, the big guys like um, Ob Jones, like um, Smith Klein Beecham, like how the heavy with the Pfizer, Roach, all these heavy guys, they don't want it. This is their baby. They have made so much money with HIV, they think that this one will set them up and their families for life. Once they get the contract to supply these drugs, oh, forever and ever they're made. So any local remedy that will cure you, they will tell you no, it doesn't work. I must tell you this. So let me repeat, please. Very, very important. A doctor used this. A doctor used this in France and it worked. A treat. They are using it on some patients in the USA and those they've used it on, they have also recovered within six days. Within six days. A combination of hydroxychloroquine and our doctors are aware of this anyway. Acetromycin and zinc. What we are now going to discuss tomorrow is how to get it in enough large quantities so that anybody exhibiting a symptom will be able to place them on this very regime. Very, very important place. Some scientists are saying because it is not proven and all the rest of it, but in a situation like this, anything that works, we are going to take. Some have put their hope on ginger and all the rest of it. Um, I don't know how, how um, effective they've been so far, but what I do know is that this is what a medical doctor in New York said treated over 600 people with it and it worked. It worked because we don't have that much money. We don't have um, ICU units and all the rest, no hospitals, no growth, nothing. We cannot afford to uh, allow our people to require um, uh, ventilators because that's not. Please, 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 we must do all we can to stop this very disease before it stops. So very important, please. Very, very important. And as the, the more these people come to try to tackle what we are doing, the more mistakes they make. The more mistakes they make, the more we expose them. As I was broadcasting, that was on, on Sunday. I said to, I said to Femi Adeshino, I challenge you to show me a video. I said video. Go back to my broadcast. I said to Femi Adeshino, I challenge you to show me a video. Show me a video. Of this setting that Jubril read out the speech on and what they gave us was pictures and I know the speech so no they will photoshop it let me tell you something of a lawyer you see I ask the zoo Nigeria or Asarok a question I already have the answer 
But I, I ask that question to make, to, to compel them to make a mistake. As they always do. Actually, they confirmed to me and to everybody discerning enough that Habak Yari and Jubril are in Cuba. I have, given, I have given you the name of the hotel. It's called Hotel Sevilla in Havana, in Cuba. I published it on my page. The pictures are there. I gave you the photos. That was why they uh, quickly put together their rubbish. The next day, oh, can't you see? Uh, Jonathan was uh, see, meeting Buharadia in 2015. And I laughed at them. Do you know why I laughed at them? Because I knew that was what they are going to do. And now we have them where we want them. To confirm, that is where you can never hear from Jubril again. You can not for some time. The version they, they have them too now. They have one in Asheville to be deceiving idiots. They, that one doesn't speak. Another Yakub, just on Ntamu and waving, only to wave at people and to be murmuring, like somebody lost in the wilderness. The other one, the main one that can read English so fast, is Jubril. And he is in Cuba. He is not in the zoo. That was why the stage managed out all, all that rubbish. I'm going to prove it to you tonight. Let us start by the second floor. The Cabal, the Olu Wale, trend master forger. Femi Adesino, a forger. The Yoruba media are protecting him. But he is a master forger. He forges photographs. That's what he does. Stupid media assistant to the president. All he does is to forge is to forge um, pictures. And people see the pictures are forged. Uh, but let us move on now. He, we have heard from him. Uh, let's move on. Even if it is recorded, let's move on. And look, these are the people voting in imbeciles into office. These are the people that sell their PVC for 33,000 naira. And now you're complaining about coronavirus. You're complaining of hunger. When I asked you to sit, to sit at home, you said no. I want to vote. It's my right. You have voted. Now that has come. You're going to be idiots to go and save you. That's why they're sending army to. You think they're stupid? They know. Once they give you that 1,000 naira, they buy your PVC. Any day you come out to complain, they send the uh, army and police. They'll be cracking your skull with their baton and flogging you with koboko because you're stupid. They are telling you that you're stupid. And some of you are, to be honest with you. With you. We start, I'm starting this segment by showing to the world how stupid, dumb, and useless some people at the presidency are. They, they claim that the 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 oh we you Jordan was here. Uh, can't you see the picture? There was one that actually got from one of the one of the fools that posted it. They gave him an Igbo name. What's his name again? Let, let me see. His an Igbo name. They said uh, uh, is uh, uh, can't you see his name is um his his name is what again? G Greg Woko. He was born in Lagos. As I told you, that was born in Lagos, Abuja, Kano Kaduna. They use him because he, he, he has an evil name. So, and he's trying to count and numb the camera so that we credibility. And they, 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 they dug their grave by publishing the original picture of where uh, Buhari, when he was still alive, was in 2015. <laughs> we are going to dissect it, isn't it? That is that strong that's what we're going to do. To let the world, you, some of you dismiss, in any other part of the world, Abba Kiyari will be arrested, tried for high treason, and publicly executed. But because <laughs> he is a chief of family staff, and some of you think that chief of family staff is a rank in the army, it is not, it's a political appointment, and he has no right to dismiss any serving general in the battlefield. Only the president has the right. But some of you don't know. He, 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 some, some wrote the He has been removed by Abak Yari. So by, uh, what's his name? No. Tuko uh, Buratai. Uh, uh, the chief of army staff. Being a chief of army staff is a political appointment. Some of you are so dumb. It's untrue. So useless. If you go to university and you're on strike for three years, you come out, you graduate, you write a thesis. You go and be drinking toilet water as a youth server, youth copper. You come out and you're on Facebook writing rubbish. You don't know. And I think nonsense you don't know. Let us dissect the zoo and, and uh, bring their misery to, to an end. Segment by segment. Has anyone actually seen the 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 video again of Jubril from, from Havana, Cuba? 
Ask yourself this simple question. If they have nothing to hide, why was it that the cameraman never panned to the left, to the right, up or down to show the surroundings where he was? Because all they had to do was to bring a white um, uh, uh, background, put that thing, put that um, um, uh, thing around the edge to tell it is in, in Asarok, that he was outside in Asarok. Can you believe such rubbish? That was why the cameraman only focused foul or very narrow angle, rectangle, very narrow. He never moved, never, not to the right, not as any news of nation would do. After a while, they found that when they finished, they showed us picture of the entire place. Why can't you do that on a video? Now, do you understand? that are, All I want to stop is that they are lying to you. If you believe that they are lying to you, then I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not saying if it is live or not. It is not live. That's number one. We can all tell. Secondly, it was not in Asarok. It was in Havana in Cuba. And I'm telling you the reason why it is in Havana in Cuba. Go and look at the frame. Go and watch that interview again. You will see it very clearly. Very they never showed you the ceiling or down or right or left. They think we are stupid. The other one it looks like the flag looks like the flag of maybe it's Lesotho. <laughs> I don't know. That's all country is the flag. Are they the are the colours the same? Are the colours of the two flags? Are they the same? The other flag is inside as a rock. And you're bringing something different from where did you get it from? Simple question. As they say where we come from, you can tell uh, when you're talking to a liar how they squirm and weave. From place to place. Look at the Oluwole photos that Femi Adeshin or the Master Forger released. All these pictures, huh? they are in the public domain. That is what I'm, how we used to destroy them. When sensible people, uh, 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 as, in, uh, as, we are, uh, as we are broadcasting, IPOB, their friends were online, saying, What is the potter doing there? They issued another photograph. This is how clever they are. Without the porter. Not knowing that their friend Greg Nwoko has already sent the one they were trying to counter me with with the porter they are showing. That's how useless they are. See how useless they are? I stampede them into making mistakes. I said to them, if Abak Yari is not in Nigeria, if Abak Yari is in Nigeria, I will stop broadcasting. Then, oh, he has learned from Bagualada to Lagos. Which flight number? You know, Pora. Which ambulance took him? Nobody knows. Okay, he's in Lagos now. Lagos State government is taking care of him. Now, dear Lagos State Health, uh, are you aware that Abakiari is here? The man said no. He's only on WhatsApp oh, by getting on. Oh. I don't know if he's here or not. And you're telling me that is the country? You're telling me Abakiari is not in charge? Maybe that's the only good thing about coronavirus. It has come. And it will expose the zoo. As long as Abakiari is on a ventilator, as long as and mind you, also is he, 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 uh, 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 he's not well, though. I don't know how Yoruba has forgot about their own brother, oh. please. Yoruba, uh, 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 Bajo, your brother, the virtual, he is not well. He has coronavirus. That's why you've not heard from him. He is not well. For your information. You know, some of them, they say, oh, uh, 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 he was like money. You, you have all collected money. And you are now quiet. Your brother, Yemi Sibajo, is sick with corona. That is why you cannot see. I, I like him, and God knows I'm praying for him. I don't know why I like the man. I just, for some bizarre reason, I like him. I don't know why. I like uh, Yemi Sibajo. For some reason. Maybe that thing he did when Buhari went to London to go and die. That thing he did uh, by going to people, meet, talking to people, talking to people, trying to reconcile. Trying to bring people together. That was why, why I, I, from that day I loved him. I was in prison. I said, this is a human being. He was going all over the place, trying to speak in a language of, of somebody that has, you know, common sense. No, not minding that they have, <laughs> they have, um, uh, pigeonholed him into a corner somewhere. He's sick, oh. Please, and I people should pray for him. He's sick. Yoruba can't ask after their own people. I, I don't know what is wrong with them. I have no idea. We have exposed them. Look at the pictures that they first released. 
All of a sudden, the picture has a wide angle, but in the video, it's only the face of Jubril. And that's what that is where they kill themselves. I'm going to prove it to you tonight that they, ha they have destroyed themselves from that same picture. Not the one, the picture, uh, not the kind of list. I am going to use the picture that the Guardian newspaper published today to carry their news, to destroy, to nail them finally. That Nigerians can see their stupidity staring them in the face. That's how dumb they are, some of them. That we circled everything, we showed them who is the potter hiding. Once I said who is the potter hiding, they changed it immediately. And they brought another Photoshop where there is nobody. No, they have now photoshopped out the potter. That's how useless they are. And you see how foolish they are. The place where they showed Jonathan and Buhari, listen carefully, please. It was a yellow wall, yellow. When they did their photoshopping, they added yellow walls as well, between their stupidity and in their hopelessness. For the background was still white. They forgot that the the what they are using to enhance the place that it will also show on the ceiling. In other words, part of the ceiling is yellow, part of the ceiling, the same ceiling, the same place is white. There's no demarcation, nothing. Because they could not get the matching paint inside the basement of Havana Hotel in Cuba. So what they did, the, the closest paint they had, because they were in a hurry, was a white paint. They used it to do it on a board. Go and zoom in very carefully. Sitting at the back of it. That's something. Zoom it, now you will see it. It's, it's, it's an after rock. Can, can you see Jonathan was there with her? Now the can is lying. It's fake news. Uh, but look at it. It's also blind. Something so obvious. Look at the, the release with the people wearing Ashebi, NTA on Ashebi, brown Ashebi, with a uh, matching um, uh, um, face mask. Look at it. The wall is white. The surrounding walls are yellow. They'll tell you, oh no, we painted it white just for this occasion. Then you go to the ceiling. Just look up a little bit. You see the ceiling? The inside is that's a, um, a POP. Look at the POP. The two outer ledge of the POP is white. The inside one is yellow. So the paint, uh, the paint ran out. After you are painting it white, the paint finished. You see how they're lying? Do you see their lies? And Nigerians swallow it all because of this hatred for Biafra. All because you don't want to numb the camera to be proven right. All because you don't want IPM to be proven. Look at it. I ask people again. That is not if look at it very well. The coat of arms is about to fall off. Like something that uh, uh, that uh, Nabikem, uh, Namaka is too big for it. Nabikem did this. I put it on the wall of, uh, of the presidency. Look at, look at, the flag is about to fall down. The Nigerian flag is about to fall down. It's not even straight. Is that a rock? And some of you bought this rubbish. Oh, he has spoken now. It doesn't matter. I said, that is why you people are stupid. That is why you have bad go governance. That is why you have bad government. That is why your life never ever improves. That is why you have no light. Or that pe people don't know the meaning of democracy. Democracy is that you hold people who are your rulers to account, not rulers, leaders to account. You don't know. That is why in the UK have question time. That is why in the US the president is forced to brief the nation almost every blessed day. Don't you know that? It is called holding public servants to account. That is the basic tenet of democracy. For goodness sake, black people. That is the meaning of it. You, you cannot have people lying to you on a daily basis. Deceiving you. Is it a maturish Photoshop that they have done? Have they succeeded? The answer is no. The answer is no. This is how they fool themselves and those of you that answer to the name, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you, of course, you answer Nigeria, the name that Flora Shaw gave you. Nigerians, I'm trying to make you reason like human beings. I am helping you to reason. Because you are blind, you are fearful, you are deluded. That is why you never organize yourselves to have a mass or popular uprising or ever have a revolution. That's why uh, my friend called for revolution. All of you are just there looking sheepishly. Now, the reason why that revolution was called has happened. There is now an emergency that requires the input of the government 
at every level and there is total failure and collapse of the, of, of the system of governance in the zoo. It doesn't touch you. You go outside to go and buy food and they're beating you. Do you now begin to follow what we are saying? Uh, maybe now you can. They have caged you with fear. They use fear to cage you. Complete caging! That's why all of you are in a total mess. They say they have shut down the schools. I don't want to read the water. These are full of, they are kleptomaniacs. How do they steal money? They are klept, they cannot stay without stealing. Lamode. Remember under Shagari regime, Ibrahim Taher. Remember a man called Omar Odiko. These are arch looters. Arch. Conk looters. Remember Abacha and the family. Remember Bangida. Abdul Salami. These are hardcore looters. Heavyweight looters. And now they are still stealing. Let me tell you how foolish they are being, because Abak Abak is not around. Furthermore, I'm reading from the Minister of State. Furthermore, although schools are closed, I have instructed the no uh, Jubril actually. Furthermore, although schools have closed, listen, you know, although schools have closed, I have instructed the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development to work with the state government in developing a strategy on how to sustain school feeding program. School feeding program. School have closed. But we are going to sustain school feeding program. Uh, are you listening? Schools are closed. But we are going to sustain school feeding program without compromising our social distancing policies. And uh, you are telling me these are human beings? Are you, are you, no, seriously? Are you telling me that Nigerians who are listening to this problem is that they are normal? Is that what you are telling me? Are they, are they normal? No, I don't think they are. And when I say they say, they, they say uh, 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 I, I'm insulting people. Anyway, if you believe that, you can believe that uh, Abba Kiari was flown to Lagos in, on air ambulance. On air ambulance. <laughs> you can see them. They are the RNG photo from Greg Nwoko. From Greg Nwoko. And I'm saying to them, Greg Nwoko, look at the background where uh, uh, Jonathan was standing with um, Buhari. The late Buhari. Look at it very well. Is the background not yellow? Look at the, the picture to the left. Is it not yellow wall? To the right, is it not yellow wall? How come your own is white? To this yellow. Right, yellow. But inside is um is is what? You know what they will say to you? Oh, it's because of the light. So there is a light that turns <laughs> yellow wall into white. Only in the zoo. Only in the zoo. And look at the floor. This shiny floor was they are so foolish. Look at where Jonathan was standing in the old picture. You will see a step. In this floor here, is there any step? The answer is no. They have brought this shiny floor, which is the shiny floor of the basement hall at Havana, at uh, Hotel Sevilla in Havana in Cuba. The same wall. They were so confused. When they were trying to Photoshop, they didn't know what to do. They said, okay, let's use the floor, but let's put a mirror on it. So you're telling me there's a mirror on the floor of Azarok? There's a mirror on the floor that is reflecting everybody standing? Is that what you're telling me? So that even when women are dressed, uh, people wearing a skirt, they can stand on a mirror. In the There's a place where, where perverts get women to stand on a mirror in Asarok. Is that what you're telling me? Are you that stupid? Can't you see the floor? How it is gleaming? How it's gleaming? Reflecting everything. So it's a mirror, isn't it? So in Asarok right now, there is a place where there is a mirror on the floor. Are you people that stupid? Really? Nigerians? Are you that dumb? They said, this is Asa Rock years ago with Jonathan, uh, 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 with Buhari, uh, busted as usual. Next propaganda, please. That's what they want. That's, that's what they do. <laughs> they to confuse you. But I'm asking him, uh, Greg Mwoko, if uh, in Lagos, uh, when did they put in the glass floor in Asa Rock? And when did the wall turn from yellow to white? And uh, also, please, uh, can you tell us? When? Precisely. Or how did you bust us? Do you see the how full is there? Cameraman wearing ashi, ashi be with hand glove in Asarok <laughs> with glass with mirror floor, mirror the floor is mirror. The step that Jonathan was standing on has just disappeared. It's called the more you look, the less you see. And they brought this idiot. And, and the, the, the one that is saying, uh, Greg Moko, busted. In his picture that they gave, that uh, Femi Adeshino gave him, there is a porter, hotel porter, standing. You can see the hotel porter. 
healing. And once we pointed it out, they quickly removed the, the, the picture. Immediately. But uh, it was too late because Greg Walker had already published his own. Uh, the little one chunk of propaganda. We are Biafran, the most intelligent race, black race on this earth. You can't fool us. We are the most intelligent black race on this very earth. Look at the second picture that Femi Adeshi issued. Now there is no more. But it's gone. The other one is only one cameraman to confuse the gullible, but not IPOB and not us. Nigeria does not have a president. I'm telling you that. Secondly, Abba Kiyari and his fellow cabals who have been packaging the impost of Jubril, he tested positive for coronavirus and they flew him to Havana in Cuba. I am telling you the name of the hotel where this nonsensical charade was stage managed to convince and confuse the gullible. That is the, the little picture that the master forger, friendly addition of things, he can he doesn't know who he's up against. I am not the county, kind of, all this nonsense. You know, once I see it in me, within five seconds I point out all the flaws in it. The same way you went to Japan, you were, you were photoshopping. You went to France, you were photoshopping. Jubilee was not there. You photoshop, photoshop. I say they never start with a video. Never, never, no live video. It's always first pictures. Pictures, pictures, and you have Alamajiri that they tell me Alamajiri, hey, Baba, General at 21, a head of state has at 32, another head of state at 51. They use it and they, because they, you know, full and they have beaten fear into you, so you no longer listen properly. Once you see it, they, they say, oh, okay, it's from Asarok, it's, maybe it's true. And somebody will say, um, it's, it's, uh, the broadcast is not live, it doesn't mean anything. Another one said, uh, uh, flag or no flag. But these are, these are the signs that people are lying to you. You are being deceived. They say, I'm the kind of, he, he, uh, he, he insults people. Well, that is why uh, I don't want to believe in what he's saying. I will insult you even more because you're useless. Very, very useless. Let me to please observe closely the color of the white board you really standing in front of. Is it the same color as the one uh, that they said, Jonathan and Buhari, we are, we are uh, uh, you know, parlaying? Uh, in 2015, is it the same? It's not. Look at the wall to the left is yellow. To the right is yellow. Only this one. If they say it is the light, how come the ceiling is uh, half and half? Half yellow, half white. The paint ran out. It's Photoshop. It is trying to lay over a white background on what is already brown. We have caught them once again. And tomorrow now they will say they painted, the, uh, they will get the painter that painted the wall to come out. I painted it, it's white. It's, it's about this, and I painted it. Ask them, this flag of Lesotho, is it Burundi flag? I don't know this flag. They say it's armed forces flag. Bring out the wall in Asorok, lay it side by side. Are they the same? The answer is no. They couldn't get the matching colors in Cuba. That's why they came up with this rubbish. People, they think that people are stupid, but of course we are not stupid. We are not. You people can be stupid, but not IPOB, not Biafrans at all, at all. And as I said, please, pray for Sibaja, he is sick with coronavirus. He is sick with it. There is something in Islam called Takia. Takia means that you can deceive or confuse a Christian or an infidel. As long as that fulfills the purpose for which, in your mind or in your opinion, Allah wants. If, if deceiving every Nigerian that Buhari alive an Islamic purpose, then they will do it. It's called Takia. Go and Google it. Takia is called. A Muslim is allowed to lie. If you ask them, they'll tell you that after all, that um, when Abraham was with Sarah, that uh, the, uh, Abraham went somewhere and they asked him, he says, to Egypt actually, they said, is, is Sarah your wife? And he said, no. So it's good to lie. That's what they will tell you. It's called Takia. Some spell it T-A-K-K-I-Y-A. Some T A. Q Q I Y A, some T A Q I Y A, some T A K Y I A. It depends. Takia is called. It's Islamic um, code for deceive the infidel. And that's what they're doing to all of you. Deceive all you infidels. To them, they think they are, they are smart. And again, he has brought another picture. Well, are they showing you how to wash hands? In a still photograph? 
Mr. Photoshop Femi Adeshino. This is the is this the visitor's toilet in Asarok? I'm asking him. Or is this the, 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 the toilet in a nightclub in Hotel Sevilla in Cuba? This very picture. Is this the, are you telling me there's any president anywhere? Even the wash hand basin I have in my house, even the village is bigger than this one. Which president in the world? Is, oh my I, I don't know. I don't know why Chukoki Gabiam is making, I don't, I don't know why he put us in a, in a zoo, making us understand this. When you want to show people how to wash hands properly, you do it via a video, don't you? But we know that there are some morons. <laughs> Family Addition is, is afraid of moving pictures, because with video you cannot lie easily. You can record it and ship it. But if it is live, if I, I'm broadcasting live. I can tell you the time now. The time now is is um is um exactly 12 minutes past 9 p.m. Check your clock anywhere in the world where you are. It is 12 minutes past the top of the hour. Anywhere you are, if it's 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 in the morning, 6 in the evening, it is 12 minutes past. The long hand on the clock, that's how you know I'm live. I know cannot do it. Because they touch this buffoon for many days before they, they unleash him on the hapless, useless Nigerians. My concern is so easy. And uh, uh, Femi Adesina should go back to Luwa. Some of you don't know, Luwa is where they forge certificates in Lagos. In those days. That's where you go, you learn how to forge. That man is a master forger. But he's, he's doing a very poor job of it. He is doing a very poor job of it. Abak Yari tested positive and ran away and left all of you in the zoo. After squandering all the money that it should have equipped as a rock clinic. And there are the people fighting corruption. And all of you are following them. They are fighting for corruption. But these are the people. They are fighting corruption. You claim they are fighting corruption, we are fighting corruption. But where is the money that belongs to us or you've been collecting since 2015? People are uselessly and foolishly giving money. People are giving them money. Very, very terrible indeed. Very, very terrible indeed. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. And now let me also... <laughs> Some of you, I, I put up a picture. On my wall, and I asked you to tell me who it is. Of course, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. But because some of you know, it's him. If you hadn't known it, was going to identify him. The answer is no. It's to tell you that people can change. We are a face mask and look like somebody. They're not. Please, I know the first. I've forgotten his name. I need the name of the hospital in your place, please, so that hundred thousand naira will be given to them. I need the name of the hospital. Not when I give it to them, you can start harassing them to give you uh, a percentage, please. It is for coronavirus to help alleviate the people uh, um, that may present with the symptoms in your village or in your community, please. And uh, I want it posted. It's been written everywhere. I want, look at that picture of Cristiano Ronaldo. Look around the eyes. That's how you know when somebody's wearing a latex mask. Um, mask. Let it, L -A -T -E -X, a rubber mask uh, to look at somebody else. A mold. Look at the eyes. You will tell the eyes. And I ask everybody to look at the eyes of Jubril that he is wearing a Buhari mask. He is wearing a Buhari mask. They were in a hurry. Look at the eyebrows of the mask. It is on top of his natural eyebrows that is below. Look at it very well. And let me tell, tell you, I don't, you, don't take my word for it. Go to the, today's is online. I want to uh, uh, um, Guardian newspaper. Go to Guardian newspaper online and type in Nigeria government begins distribution of 20,000 relief to fund, sorry, Nigeria government begins distribution of 20,000 Naira relief fund to homes, which is a lie. Another lie. This is, this is, this was carried by Guardian newspaper, which is an arch establishment paper in the zoo. Do you know why I wanted to go and look at it? Look at the picture of Jubril. It was, those people are very wicked though, <laughs> Guardian. Look at the picture, and I want it everywhere, please. Look at the picture of Jubril on the front page of Guardian newspaper. Nigeria, the headline says, Nigeria government begins distribution 
of harm relief for homes. Look at the picture. And you look at the neck of the picture. You will see where the rubber, the latex rubber, you see it on his neck. You will see something like a hole on his neck. It is not a hole. It is because they did not wear the shoulder one. They are wearing the one that stops on the neck. And unfortunately for them, his collar could not cover it. Unfortunately for Jubril, the color of the shirt he's wearing could not cover with the end. You know when you're putting on a rubber mask, the end of it is on the neck. Look at it. Not from Unam the Khan. Look at it from Guardian newspaper of Nigeria. And that tells you all you need to know. He was wearing a face mask, pretending to be, to be Buhari. You can see it there. You can see, unless you are blind, you can see it. I'm, I'm saying the one from, from, from Guardian. Not from any other source, from that newspaper. Look at the neck, you will lose, my dear people, you will see it. It's like a wrinkle. There is a hole in his neck. A hole, a hole. A hole in his neck. What is that hole? It is not a medical condition. That hole you are looking at there is the end of the rubber, the latex rubber. He is wearing a facial mask. That was why I sent the, the, the poser with a... Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, to let you understand how easy this can be, how easy it can be done. And that is what Abel Kiari has been doing. But he doesn't trust anybody to do it. That was why he ordered that Jubil should go with him to Cuba. So they won't mess up. They left another look alike and asked rock. That one only waves, he doesn't talk. This is how they give you Buhari of different shapes, different sizes, different heights, different things. There's a brand new Buhari. This is what they are doing. But this is Jubril, the man one, the one in Cuba. Now you understand this. <laughs> Look at it. It's from Guardian newspaper. I want to ask any Yoruba man, all those imbeciles working for Fulani Caliphate in Yoruba newspapers and, and media houses. I want to ask all of you. Look at the neck. Don't take my pictures. No. Go to Guardian newspaper. Ask Guardian, where did you get this picture? Guardian will tell you, we got it from the, uh, from the uh, uh, audio message from Cuba. It's there. Look at his neck. It is open. He is wearing a face mask. He is not the one you breathe with. He is wearing a rubber mask with the face. Look at us. You will know. That was why the cameraman during the, the address of Jubilee was standing very far. They don't want to come very close because when you sweat, it starts to get very slippery. That is why he doesn't stay outside for long because he's wearing a mask. Because if he stays outside for long, he will start sweating on the inside and the mask will start sleeping. Now, do you understand it? Do you see the trick they're playing on people? I can be anybody that I want to be. I can look like Cristiano Ronaldo if I want to. I get his face, I mold it and I wear it. You will not know. This is what they are doing to you useless, hopeless Nigerians. But I feel sorry for all of you calling yourself Nigerians. Believe it or maybe it's in 2023 they will go. It will be a ton of we Yoruba people. Because of that you sacrifice the truth. This is for all those that congratulated the Buhari. This is for all those who said, oh, the president has spoken. This is your president wearing a rubber face mask. Look at it here. It's, look at the neck. And I'm not going to rest until every government on the, or, of the world gets this. I will keep pursuing them and they will keep making mistakes every You know, I pay every offer from them. I can ask you every day we pursue them. Every day. Forget all the nonsense. Oh, we are in Corona. Don't say, uh, 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 sir, please. Uh, we are, you are not deviating your uh, uh, constitution, Biafra. Shut up. There are many ways to destroy a building. Either you go to the foundation from the roof. We are chasing them from the top and also from the foundation. This is the foundation of the zoo. This lie is what will destroy the zoo. They will do anything to cover it up. But I want to let the Yoruba people understand that the person they are calling Buhari is Jubril. I want them to understand every Nigerian that I'm always right. Always. If I make a mistake, I admit it. I will always right on this Jubril. Look at his neck. I want everybody to put this picture on their... No, please.
don't receive it. But keep sharing it. Because if you put it there now, who knows? Uh, they will go and tell Americans, that, can't you see they, they, love, they love him? They, they love Buhari. So we keep publishing, we keep pointing out, look at the neck! Is he not breathing from the neck? Is he breathing from the neck? It is the hole caused by the latex rubber that he's wearing. Evil people everywhere. And uh, look at the proper picture. There's some, uh, look, at, look at the other one, the picture of a young Bobo, they say he's an 80 year old. I, I can't understand uh, uh, people from the zoo. I don't understand them, honestly speaking. I don't understand it. Little of the, the late Buhari. Look at how wrinkles scattered his face. You can see it clearly. You can see it. He was emaciated. Look at him. Hey, he's Buhari. But he looks younger than your own, your own brother, your uncle. That is 51 years old. This man looks older. No, he said, leave it now, leave it. It's how, it's how God wants them. And now there's coronavirus and you want government to feed you. That's why when you got to the no, because you're stupid, that's why police is beating you, knocking your head, knocking your head, flogging you, Kuboko. All of you, because you're stupid. You have refused to learn. God has made Nigerians blind. That is why this devastating death will envelop the zoo. Just watch and see. Just watch and see what is going to happen. They have sacked as a general. He was a good general. Uh, come back home, oh general. Who sacked him? Some of you don't know. It is not the duty of the chief of army staff. He is an ordinary political appointee. He serves at the pleasure of the president. Some of you don't know this, do you? But you went to school. You graduated. You did your service. You came out speaking grammar on social media. That you don't know. Chief of staff doesn't appoint generals or assign command. That is the duty of the commander in chief. But you wouldn't know that, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't know. Or the, or the operational command headquarters. It's not for, it's not for chief of army staff. It's actually, uh, I don't know, these people, Zoom people, Nigerians. <laughs> and as we were saying before, all those that say the Igbos are domineering, they dominate you, they do this, they do this to you. Remember people from Taraba State? And these are people that want Nigeria unity. One Nigeria. Let's move on. Fulani is, you know, a boa conscriptor. You know the snake called boa. B O A. Boa con is conscripting everybody. That is a Fulani squeezing the life out of you. Are, you are there thinking, or maybe I want to go to sleep. They are squeezing the air out of you until it's too late. One day you open your door, you see Alamadri with with dagger, dagger outside. They will cut the stomach of your pregnant wife open in front of you. Then your eyes will clear. You know that all your years of stupidity and of fighting IPOB was futile and fruitless. We were here to save you, but you chose death, and death will come to all of you. Mad people everywhere in the zoo. Look at the neck. Look at the neck of the man addressing you from Cuba. Look at the rubber face mask he's wearing of Buhari. Look at the neck he's there from Guardian newspaper. Look at it. Your legs, you're blind. What is the name of that stupid girl from uh, that you buy stupid Trump that used to work for Sarah Reporters? What's her name? Send that picture to her. That idiot. And ask her to explain the, the hole on Buhari's neck. Useless set of people. Always supporting evil. And that is why evil has found them. You don't know that God is doing a lot with, with COVID-19. I don't like it. <laughs> but a lot is going to be revealed in this view. And they cannot come out of it. Never. Never. Never come out of it. This one. Hmm. You'll see what is going to happen to them. Before we bring our program to a close, this evening, we have a few special announcements to make pertaining to IPOB family. In Lagos, I must make people understand this. No position in IPOB is permanent. You can be reassigned, you can be temporarily relieved of your position. That doesn't mean you won't come back later on. People don't understand this. Uh, you see, I'm right here that is waxing very strong and doing excellently well. Some of you don't know that I'm right here was actually suspended from IPOB before. Suspended. 
later brought back because of her loyalty and her devotion to her work and promoted. So the fact that you're no longer somewhere doesn't mean you open up a fake account and start writing rubbish on Facebook. You must be very stupid. Sometimes it's a test. Do you think that I don't test some of you? Do you think that we are going to build a Biafra when people vote you out? You try and build a coup or you try to snatch ballot box. God will punish you. Is that what you think? You serve at my pleasure. Any day I say you've done well enough, thank you very much, uh, wait or rest a bit, you rest. You wait and you rest. The likes of will be the OBN was our a whole continental rep. One of our originators. I suspended him from IPOB. I stopped him from talking on radio Biafra. He, 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 that didn't stop him from calling me every two, two days. Every two, two days he used to call me. Despite the suspension. That was even before my people used to talk to BDB, you know, North America rep. Some of you think that once you're removed or once you're suspended, that's the end of the world. It, tell, it lets me know who you are. If Biafra needs people like you or not. Because every political appointment comes. That's the, look at what's happening in the zoo. Somebody will be voted out and they will go to the Supreme Court and get a and get, um, result. Do you think that is going to happen in Biafra? Then you're sick in the head. All those idiots asking uh, a national coordinator, state coordinator, oh, where is our money? Let me know who they are. So we are spread of my POB. They know we are not. We are, the, the 50 million is for people who are sick, for our doctors and our hospitals and our test center. It's not for you. It's not meant to be shared to people. What is wrong with our, uh, zoo, zoo. A special announcement relating to Lagos and the Western Zone entirely. Our brother from Isoko, his name is Ejiro Obadago. He's from Isoko, but his name is Obadago. From Isoko. That says the Niger Delta, Mid Niger Delta, Upper Middle Bandel, Delta. Uh, south, 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 Niger Delta. His name is Oboda, who is from Isoko. Isoko are Igbo people. They will discuss that later. They think, when, uh, when I say we are related, it doesn't mean I want to come to your land and, and build a house. It's good for us to know that we are relatives, that's all. Ejiro Oboda is from Isoko. He's our new Lagos State Coordinator. Pastor Jack is the head of media in Lagos. Pastor Jack is our head of media in Lagos. Our head of mobilization team is Eze Wudotitus. Eze Wudotitus. They call him Onyame. That's not mean he belongs to the army. Yes, his nickname. The deputy head of mobilization team is Ugo Tukusi. And uh, I, I call him the lion himself. I, li I like this guy very much. Tari Nemi is the overall coordinator for the Western Zone, starting from Edo all the way to Lagos. He's the zone, the owners of the name Biafra. Tari Nemi from his zone. And James Esteni. James Esteni. In the proposed district B, I think, uh, is a senatorial coordinator for district B or C, depending. And he is the Lagos State Deputy Coordinator. James is the Lagos State Deputy Coordinator. He will also be a senatorial coordinator. Hardcore, when I mean hardcore to the core. I remember James Esteni at our senator many years back. He came took off his um, uniform. I won't tell you the part of the army he was in. Took off his uniform and started to cut grass at any Gatao senator. Hardcore. If there was any. Hardcore. Genuine. That's what I like. Tari Nemi will oversee the entire western zone. 
And anything they say is what goes. Let nobody come to me and start their stupid, silly complaints. No. And I'm also personally reshuffling the Ladipo um, family unit as well because we don't get anything from Lagos. If our people are contributing to Lagos, we have no idea. It doesn't come to the covers of IPOD. It doesn't. What they do with our money, I don't have no idea. But I believe that these new officers will we rejig, reorganize, and once again infuse our people to do that which is right. Our focus is therefore we're going to get it. That brings to conclusion our broadcast this very evening. If you've not taken anything away from here, go to Guardian Publication, you will see it. Go to their Photoshop pictures, you will see it is there, facing the whole world. Their deceit, their lies, and their deception. The more they continue to lie, the more I will expose them. That is why we say, without hesitation, that Biafra is our religion. Biafra is religion. I want some people are shocked. They said, oh, we've not had it before, but write it. Here on radio, Biafra, this very platform of truth is where we worship. Why do we worship here? Because only Chukwokika Biam Elohim is our God, not man. I don't worship flesh. I serve only one eternal creator of everything that you said. From me, from here. Good evening. Thank mm-hmm. you.